Have a great day. And good evening and welcome to Red Bank Valley High School. Tonight it is Laurel Lake Clinic Hoops here on the EYT Media Network. Special Saturday night broadcast coming your way this evening as we get set for the Clarion Area Bobcats visiting the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. Mike Kalinowski along with Lexus 20 are here tonight as we get set for this context. Lexus, this is going to be a huge one here at Red Bank Valley as we get set for those KSAC championships next week. I think this will be a good preview into the KSAC championships. The last time these two met, it was a close game the entire way through, and you didn't see a break of action at all. That's true. It was run and gone back and forth, and a big, big ball game uh, between the two of them. And coming into it, the winner of this one looks like they will get the number one seed in the KSACs because uh, Red Bank is 10-0. They control their destiny. Clarion is 9-1, but that uh, one loss, of course, um, it did not come to, uh, or it didn't count against Red Bank before. It will tonight because this is the league game. So they played one game that wasn't in the league, and this one will count. So if uh, they can win, they would have knocked Red Bank off in what would be a league game. So they would get number one. Right now it is uh, uh, Red Bank Valley, uh, Clarion, Carn City, and Clarion Limestone uh, right now for those finals. So we'll see what's coming up there as far as boys go. We're in the 
Carly Tire pregame show here on the EYT Media Network. And it's set up here this evening. Do want to thank Clary and Ford for our drive to the game tonight. Uh, everyone made it here nice and safe, and we're all ready to go. And what's at stake here? Well, that's brought to you by Oaks Building Supply. We just talked about it, Lexus. For Clarion, they win. They get the number one seed. If Red Bank can hold on to that undefeated uh, league schedule, they're going to go into that KSAC uh, championship round as the number one seed. Absolutely. Nothing like waiting until the very end of the season to have your league game against, you know, the team that you're back for. And I think Clarion's coming back with a vengeance for this game. It was a close game, like I said, and... They just, I think they really just want to knock Red Bank off and have that top seed. Well, and it's unusual, too. He said about a Saturday night. Now, the game was supposed to be played last night, but the, the schools agreed to move it to Saturday. Uh, the girls' game was last night, Clarion and Red Bank, and they wanted everybody that could come down and see it to, to be able to do so. And I'll tell you what, folks have certainly turned out. We've got two huge student sections, so it's going to get really loud. Absolutely, and I'm sure they'll both be in the game, the student sections, I mean. Just as, just as tough as the teams are in the game. Well, we'll have to see, too. You'll have to rate which student section's better. All right. By the end, I'll be taking so. notes. So we'll see. And, and sometimes they get pretty creative, too. So we'll see how that goes here at Red Bank Valley tonight. And uh, looking at the contest itself, uh, when we look at some of the key players on both of these teams, as uh, so we continue to get things set up here at Red Bank Valley, for Clarion, they are the visiting team. This is a team, uh, when you look at... Uh, uh, this uh, ball club, Dawson Smale and uh, Devin Lauer are kind of the ringleaders. And if Lauer gets hot from three-point range, uh, I'll tell you what, he's a pretty hard guy to stop. Uh, but a lot of times we'll see Clarion sometimes can live and die by that three. But, th you know, that's something that they want to watch tonight because this is a little bit different gym here at Red Bank Valley. You don't want to force a lot of things either. Oh, absolutely. And the last time the two teams met up, Lauer was the leading scorer with 17. He's two from two and two from three, two of three from the three free throw line. That's a tongue twister. There you go. <laughs> um, so I, I think most of those, you know, were driving to the hoop. Though at that point, Red Bank was playing a good perimeter defense. But if he's on, he's on. And they do have a good supporting cast as well with Brinkley and Simcoe, uh, tough inside. Um, also, uh, Derek Smell, he's the muscle inside. And they go to the bench too. Gervin gives quality minutes along with Miller and uh, Merrill and Cribble. Uh, so those guys will all see for uh, Clary. And talking about some of the players for Red Bank Valley, well, we saw them just the other night over at Union High School, and this team really turned it on. And uh, it was uh, Wagner, he's the, um, I mean, when you talk about Braylon Wagner, of course, the quarterback on the football team, he's kind of the quarterback out there for this offense. But Fricko likes to run the offense as well, and they have a good cast in Minnick, Klaus, Klaus, Owen, and Mason Klaus. When you talk about the Klauses, it's just always good athletes there. Oh, absolutely, and you hear their name. No matter the sport, you hear both their names all the time. Actually, all of the names all of the time. And Red Bank's not just one or two key players. Their whole team pretty much can put up some points, and they typically have three to four in double digits, which will lead yeah. them to a good game. And that's something you said that, too, on uh, what was that Tuesday or Wednesday we had that game over at Union. Uh, they had four guys in double digits, and Bob Dunkel always said, if you have at least three guys or four guys in double digits, you're going to win that ball game. And it's almost always the case. Yep, I believe that's a little note Bob gave me for tonight, oh, too. Oh, did he? It is. Well, we'll be coming back to that, too. <laughs> yeah, we will. And, uh, you know, we're just going to continue here as they just getting a few camera things taken care of here at Red Bank Valley High School. And as we said, a great crowd has made its way in here on this Saturday evening. And uh, I'm sure they're going to be entertained with a very good uh, basketball game. Why don't we take a quick time out here? We're going to come back with more of the Carly Tire pregame show. We'll get some of Lexus's keys to the game and more. It's all on the way. Red Bank, clearing an area here for Red Bank Valley High School. It is Laurel, uh, my clinic. Hoops, it's all here on the EYT Media Network. Hey, Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there, Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. 
you can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tionesta Builders. Tionesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tionesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tionestabuilders.us. Located at 511 Main Street in Shippenville, All-American Awards and Engraving is expanding to provide even better customer service with that personal small town feel. From embroidery to engraving to screen printing to personalized gifts, All-American Awards and Engraving is ready to help you make your organization, business, school team, or event stand out with All-American Awards and Engraving's quality promotional products. Visit their showroom for apparel, trophy, and awards ideas at 511 Main Street or visit their website at allamericanhq.com. Our focus has always been on you at Clarion County Community Bank. So let's talk about your needs of today and your plans for tomorrow. Let's talk if you're looking to update your home, expand your business, finance equipment, or establish a line of credit. Let's talk about making your dreams a reality at any one of our four locations in Clarion, New Bethlehem, Rymersburg, and Franklin. Clarion County Community Bank, there is a difference. Are you a therapist who wants to make a difference? Do you want to help children and families who are struggling with serious behavioral problems? MHY Family Services is looking for therapists to join our new multi-systemic therapy psychiatric team. Multi-systemic therapy psychiatric is an evidence-based in-home intensive treatment approach that addresses the multiple factors that contribute to a child's behavioral problems. With this treatment, you can help children and families change their lives for the better. We are looking for passionate therapists to join our team. Apply now and become a part of the supportive and dynamic culture at MHY Family Services. And welcome back to Red Bank Valley High School, the home that Bob Dunkel built here in the great Red Bank Valley. It is uh, high school basketball coming your way. Laurel Lake Clinic basketball on the EYT Media Network. Mike Kalinowski, Lexus 20 here. We've got Brad English. Chase Steinman over there on the camera. We're rocking and rolling here at Red Bank Valley tonight. Getting set for team introductions and the anthem all coming up here at Red Bank Valley. Glad you could be with us. Lexus, real quick here, let's take a look at some of the keys to the game. These are Lexus's keys to the game brought to you by Gates and Zonabody. What do you think, Lexus? Yes, I'll try to run through these. You know, Red Bank, they need to play the up-tempo run-and-gun style of play that they're used to. They're a strong perimeter team, but if that's not working, they need to take it strong to the paint and challenge Clarion. And they can keep all five guys actively involved in the offense, even though, you know, they can switch in and out too. Um, Again, three or more players in the game always have double digit digits, so that'll hopefully guarantee them a win. But if not, or if they have a slow start, they can't get the offensive lull during the game as well. All right, we'll come back with more of the keys here coming up after the anthem here.
Good sense uh, back here. Wow. Pretty loud here tonight here at Red Bank Valley. Just a little. Just a little. That's good, though. It makes it for a good environment. It sure does. And, who do you, uh, and on the other side, uh, how, how do you uh, see yes. uh, this game play now? On the other side, you know, Clary needs to start strong, finish strong. They have a strong bench. And I'll give it a break while they announce the lineups. <laughs> I thought we could uh, get it in while they were doing so, but here come the, alignment, the uh, alignments here. Starting line is brought to you by Janet Montgomery Scott here on EYT. There is uh, Dawson and Derek Smale being introduced. The brothers. There's Simcoe, uh, Brinkley, and Lauer to be introduced, and we'll have Red Bank, and then we'll get to Lexus with her final keys to the game here. And they always shut the lights off here as they get to introduce them. We'll see if our camera can keep up with it. Minute first to be introduced. Had a strong game over at Union last uh, earlier this week. Roland Wagner. Mr. Fricko. There's Owen Klaus. Mason Klaus. So there we go, those team introductions. All right, so we'll continue here. Lexus. There's the light, so I can see my papers again. <laughs> um, you know, Clarion has a strong bench, and they're able to keep the fresh legs on the court at all times. You know, physical play against Red Bank's absolutely needed. They're a strong, Red Bank's a strong team, so they need to um, challenge and contest each and every trip up and down the court and disrupt their flow of offense. You can't shut down the offense, but you can slow it down, so they definitely need to do that. Um, you know, anytime they get to the free, th free throw line, it's very important to be successful, too. Very good job. Excellent job there. Keys of the game. Brought to Gates and Zonabody. Here we go. It is tip-off brought to you by Kale's Kitchens, controlled by Clary, and as we get rolling here in this one. Here's Smale driving, kicking it out to the left side. Lauer picked up defensively. Red Bank with that shot. And up top, that's Smale nailing that one. Dawson Smale with the three-pointer. Starting off strong from the perimeter. Shot from the left side. That's off the mark. The rebound big time underneath by Derek Smale. Here's Brinkley. Dawson into the lane. Dawson puts up the runner off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound by Derek Smale. The put back good. So the Smale's responsible for the first five. Hitting the boards hard, too, already. Looking good. Starting on a tight or an expanded 3 2 right there. Ball going to be tipped out of bounds. Stays Red Bank ball. Crowd into it here too tonight. Pass inbounds to, uh, that's a minute, and down and down to the corner. Here's the shot on the way. Wagner shots off the mark. Rebound by Owen Klaus. Owen Klaus tried to dump it into the paint, but it's going to be kicked by Clarion. While we have a chance too, we want to say um, hello to our buddy Nico. He's going to be on the uh, camera tonight, but He's under the weather a bit. We want to tell Nico we're all thinking about him. Hang in there, buddy, and hopefully you enjoy the broadcast tonight. Between the defenders, underneath on the baseline, Simcoe's going to tip that out of bounds. Red Bank's really working hard on the ball movement already and swinging it to get the open shot or lane. 
Ball comes in to Minnick. Just underway. Minnick's going to travel. Took that Happy step feet. Before that ball hit the. Now, in the NBA, that'd be celebrated as a beautiful play. <laughs> <laughs> Five nothing here. Central Clarion. And Red Bank. Who's going to be the number one seed? Brinkley driving, and it's rejected by Klaus, but they're going to say Klaus got too much body. So Mason Klaus is going to get rung up with a foul here. And here's Brinkley. First one's good. Northern Pennsylvania Regional College, our free throw sponsor. And Brinkley again nails that one. It's always a good look whenever you make the first two foul shots you're given. Carey's going to be called here on Fricko. And give credit that time to Dawson Smale on the defense to cause that. Brinkley brings it across the timeline. Here's Smale up top. Smell into the lane, kicks it out. Now Lauer, boy, he wanted to take that three and did he not. He was ready. Dump that in to Smale, and it's going to be finally tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Minnick. Ball into Derrick, and up top it goes to Brinkley. And we're going to have the hand check called up top here by the Kieran Fricko. Clarion takes the ball to bounce underneath their own basket. Ball comes right in, but it went off of the foot of a Wagner that time. Less than two minutes in, three kicks already. Yeah. Ball right in to Cribble. Or, excuse me, that is a smell. <laughs> and Brinkley up top. He'll work right around that big bulldog, and we're going to get a carry called on Brinkley this time. You don't see many of those anymore, but we've had two so far. And like you said, too, uh, it's a bunch of the uh, kicks. Used to be a player uh, at Clarion Vandermeer was his name, and he was great at that. We, used to, we changed the name of it to a Vandermeer <laughs> for years. Ball's going to be tipped on the other end. Lauer saves it, but it's right into the hands of Fricko. Fricko to the right side. Klaus eyes the three on the way. Oh, by Klaus. Hopefully that'll get them going to start the game now on the board. Working in a man-to-man -man defense. Smale on the baseline, puts up the shot, good. Derek Smale, four in the ball game, it's 9-3. We're definitely in for a quick tempo game tonight, that's for sure. Underneath, wide open is Mason Klaus. Missed the shot. There's Simcoe for the rebound. Here comes Clarion. Smail. Bounce pass over to Brinkley. Up top to Lauer. Lauer to the baseline. Derek Smail on the baseline. And it doesn't go. Rebound by Fricko. Owen Klaus. And they're going to call the body. Foul here on uh, Dawson Smail. See the officials a little bit tight here at the beginning. I was going to say, they're watching the game close right now. We saw that a little bit in the JV game, too. Ball comes right in, right back to Klaus. Shot on the baseline. Rolls in and out. No good. Rebound by Smale. Here's Brinkley. Tried to pass it off to Lauer. Does. Lauer. Simcoe. The ball's tipped. Smale controls, finds Lauer. I'll tell you what, Klaus is right on Lauer. Ball to the corner, Brinkley fires the three, and nails the three from the corner. Nice. Brinkley with five in the ball game. You see Lauer, each time he gets the ball on the perimeter, he just wants that open shot, but Red Bank's doing a good job. Larian's in his 3-2 zone. They lead it here 12-3. Drive on the baseline, dumps it in the paint. Wagner puts it up strong. Wagner shot, no good. Rebound by Smale. Here comes Brinkley. On that right side, kicks it back up top. Underneath, there's Simcoe. Simcoe puts it up. 
partially blocked, and that is going to be Wagner with the block, takes it the other way. Wagner weaving, stops, kicks it into the middle. Klaus lost the ball, and it's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to stay Red Bank basketball. Gervin's going to check in here for Clarion. And Miller, too. Seen Clarion's bench already, but like I said, they can go six, seven, eight deep and still be working good. They sure can, and save that time, and we're going to have no shot, but a foul called before the shot on the floor with a hold. The official did a great job that time, blowing off that, or blowing the whistle, but then waving off that shot. Gribble will check in, or excuse me, Merrill will check in here for Clarion. Two, 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 a piece of the fouls. Here's the shot by Minnick. It's no good. The rebound pulled down by Miller. Here's Miller pushing it. Miller lost it. Puts up the shot. No good. Ball taken away. Here's Minnick. Minnick has the ball tipped away from him. There's Merrill with the basketball. Back and forth we go. Here's Lauer. Lauer between the legs into the lane. Puts up that shot high off the glass. It doesn't go. Rebound is by Owen Klaus. See Red Bank's offense ready to slow it down a little bit, give themselves a break, and get everything set up. Ball controlled left side, drive, baseline, shot, Minnick, good. A drive by Minnick. And we're going to get a timeout taken. We'll see if this is a full or a 30. This is a 30 second timeout. While we have a chance to, want to let you know Gatesman Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning is our timeout sponsor. When you're heating, plumbing, or AC takes a timeout, call Gatesman Heating, Plumbing, and AC to get you right back in the game. Give them a call, 814 782 3280. That's 814 782 3280. What do you think so far, Lexus? It's been fast. It's exciting. I mean, you know, Red Bank's ready to come back. They got their offense moving, and I think, I think we'll see another close game this week. Well, here we go. It's a seven-point lead for the Bobcats at Clarion. How do you feel about the student section so far? I don't know. They've both been pretty vocal. They have been. <laughs> Merrill brings it in here to Spale. We have 15 in for Clarion. Cribble, I'm right. Yep, Cribble. Miller up top. Left side, Smale on the baseline. And the offensive foul called on Smale. So that's two on him. You could see Klaus get excited about that one. He's ready to take it back. Wasn't a ton of contact, but just enough. To watch that. Here's Minnick up top. Minnick over to Klaus back up top. Minnick right side. Pricko back to Minnick. Minnick driving. Kicks it out. Klaus three pointer on the way. That shot no good. Rebound underneath by Mason. Klaus to put back no good. Klaus gets it back. Puts it up. Basket good. Foul. Right there. And we'll have that old time. Three point play coming up. That'll be a Gervin on the foul that time. We have a timeout taken by Red Bank here. Why don't we take a quick timeout as well? 2.22 to go, five point lead for Clarion. You're watching uh, Laurel Athletic Hoops on the EYT Media Network. Back at Red Bank Valley, Mike Kalinowski, Lexus, 20 year with you here tonight. 12 7. Klaus at the line for one to finish up that three point play try. He'll miss that, comes back out. There's Cribble with the rebound. So the lead remains at five. Green came out on fire. Here's Brinkley to the right side. That's Cribble. And we're going to have the hand check here by. Minnick, boy, he was really pushing into the midsection of Cribble. I always laugh when people say basketball is really a no-contact <laughs> sport because having played, you know, too, 
if you're not making contact, you're not playing. Especially when it's two aggressive, fast-paced teams. Yep. There's always some sort of contact. Ball right side, Merrill. He's going to be tripped up. That'll even the fouls out here at four apiece. Next one will be shooting. Yeah, while there have been several several fouls called, they're calling them both ways. Mm -hmm. Everything's pretty equal right now. Merrill up top to Brinkley. Triple. Into Smale. Back up top. Brinkley driving. Brinkley to the corner. Merrill shot on the way. And the three seconds is called in the paint. And they, they're going to say that uh, Dawson Smale, or uh, Derek Smale was camping out down there. You don't see a ton of those calls either anymore, especially mm -hmm. with the fast games. Just under about, yeah, right down about a minute and a half to go here in the quarter. It's Kale's Kitchen's first here on EYT. Big game tonight here at Red Bank Valley, and the paint dumped off underneath. The shot is good. How about that? That is Jackson Huffman with the basket. Saw a nice cut, some nice ball work there. And Huffman foul to go to the line. And it's always a good play whenever you can draw that foul. Absolutely. That puts Clarion now with five. First, the new rolls. Shot taken is good by Huffman. 12-10. This is a two-point ball game now. They're all up top. Back to Cribble. Right side to Smale. Smale. Red Bank's playing that quick, tight defense. They're all up top. Has the ball tipped, but old oh, Cribble's able to get it back. Cribble underneath. Smale. Shot. No good. Rebound. Red Bank can tire. Take the lead. Here's Wagner. Wagner right side. Huffman shot on the way. Banks it. It's no good. That ball is loose. Great hustle that time by Minnick to keep that ball, but it's taken away. Good job by Merrill. Swipe it away. Here's Brinkley. Brinkley up top. Cribble in the lane. Cribble puts up the runner. No good. 42 seconds. Have to wonder if they'll slow it down to get the last shot of the quarter now. I think you might see Coach Marshall over there. I think he called for one shot. See if Clarion comes out and defends here. Down to 25 seconds from the corner. The shot on the way, and the shot rattles the cage. Doesn't go for Minnick. Rebound by Huffman. Ball back up top. Ball to the left side. The way Clarion plays defense, it's hard to hold it for the last mm -hmm. shot. Minnick up top, six, five seconds. Now they got to move. Four, shot taken by Huffman. No good. The ball's going to be tipped into the hands. Full court shot, no good. 12-10 is where we are after one. And we'll take a timeout. You're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops right here on the EYT Media Network. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-7680. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. Right back here at Red Bank Valley. We go to the quarter number two. It's a Bauer Wagner property second. Shot from the left side is good by Wagner. Wagner gets his first points of the ball game. 12-12. Look back at the scoring from the first time these two teams played. It was 12-12 after the first quarter. Here's Simcoe right side. Good shot by Simcoe getting his first two points of the ball game. About right on pace from the first game, scoring wise. Yep. 
Halftime of that first game, it was 25-24 Clarion. I knew it was a one-point game. Yep. So we'll see what happens. Into the lane. Minnick driving. Shot. Doesn't go. Underneath, there's Huffman. Ripped away by a uh, smell, but there's Klaus. Fricko, three-pointer off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound by uh, Brinkley. Here's Brinkley driving to the corner. Brinkley back up top. Left side. Lauer, three-pointer. Nails there that shot. Is. Lauer's first three of the ball game. He finally got open enough to get one, and he got it. We'll see if that carries him through the ninth, and if he'll be on fire with his threes. Clarion on a 5-2 run here to start this uh, second quarter. Rico into the paint. Uh, foul shot by Minnick for the left side. No good. And they're going to call the foul here on uh, Smale. Derek Smale from behind. Saw Clarion last time the two teams met get into a little bit of foul trouble with their big men underneath. And he was one of them. So hopefully tonight easier. That'll just be his first. Ball comes in to uh, Minnick. Klaus Minnick, now Fricko. Fricko into the paint, down to the corner. Shot on the way, and that shot's off the mark. Put back by Owen. Klaus, though, is good. Owen with five in the ball game. 17 14. Driving. The Smale tried to take that shot, doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Wagner. Red Bank did a good job of closing the lane off down there. Klaus is going to be called for the charge. So Klaus with the charge, and it's his first foul, one on each side. We have Gervin back in for Clarion. So 17-14, Bauer Wagner property second quarter. Oh, almost stolen away from Smale. Smale lost it out of bounds to Red Bank Bauer. Some good defense there by Fricko. Very good defense. Very quick. He's been all around, all over the place. Going to be interesting, no matter what seed all these guys go into, how that KSAC championship plays out. Who will make it to that Saturday? It could be anybody of those ones that are going to be included. Absolutely. This is just a good preview, too, of the KSAC games. All right side, Owen Klaus. Kicks it back, Fricko, Fricko, back to Klaus, down to the corner. Minnick driving on the baseline. Boy, what ball movement here by Red Bank. Mason Klaus underneath it goes, but it's lost out of bounds. So 17-14, Clarion gets it back here. See Red Bank's kind of feeling their groove, getting it back on offense too a little bit. Smale to Gervin underneath. Ball tipped away, and it's taken away by Wagner. Oh, and Klaus working. Left side. Drive on the baseline. The shot by Minnick is no good. Rebound by Miller. Here's Miller pushing it. Miller driving. Miller into the lane. Shot no good. And here comes Klaus. Sometimes that breaks fine. Sometimes you want to back off, let that offense set up. At that time, Miller thought he was going to get it. It just was shy of making that basket. Clarion's energy is up. I think it's hard for them right now to set an offense. They're just ready to go. Klaus, three-pointer on the way. No good. Klaus followed nicely. Fouled. That is what you're supposed to do. You shoot the ball, you follow it, and a lot of times that's what's going to happen. That is the Brett English 101 of basketball. <laughs> That's one of the things that always gets me whenever people don't follow their shots. That was one thing I was always taught to do. You follow your shot, you get your rebound, and do exactly what he just did, put it back up and get fouled. That shot is good. And Northern Pennsylvania Regional College is our free throw sponsor. Bauer Wagner Properties, our second quarter sponsor. We got a, when's the big bash at the uh, Airbnb? You pick, be, a, you pick a date. Yeah, we'll have to after the season, get everyone together. Except for Chase. He'll be in Florida. <laughs> Shot by Klaus is good. 
So Klaus now with seven in the ball game. One point lead here for Clarion. See Red Bank at 75% from the free throw line. That's where they were the last time they played Clarion. Off to Miller, Miller left side. Merrill back up to Miller. Miller pumps the three on the way. No good. Rebound underneath is Wagner. Wagner picks it out. Long shot taken by Fricko. And how about the three by Fricko from downtown Hawthorne? You could see it. He knew it was going in as soon as it left his hands. 19-17 now Red Bank with the lead. Here's Simcoe to the right side. Frederick in the ball game here. He was hot in that JV game shooting threes. Ball up top to Miller to the left side. Lauer pumps the three-pointer. Shot by Lauer is just off the mark. And we're going to have the foul here called on Fricko underneath. It was a little bit too amorous down there pushing on that shot. You don't want him in foul trouble. You see Coach over there. Have a seat for a couple minutes. Yep. Three on Fricko. So, boy. Clarion changing personnel as well. Burford checking in, seeing his first time tonight. Foul's going to be called here on Huffman. So the officials tightening things up a little bit again. Take it out of bounds. Lauer will bring it in. Ball comes in deep. That's all right. He didn't have possession in either court. You can go back, and it's taken away, though. Ball kicked ahead. Here's Wagner. Wagner shot. Good. Red Bank is now up by four. Here comes Clarion. 3-14. Flower driving. Picks up that dribble. Kicks it out to Merrill. Back up top it goes. Cribble. Into the lane, Cribble lost it, it's ripped away. Ball kicked ahead to Klaus. Klaus, and Klaus is gonna be fouled. That's Lauer. That and Klaus will get up, Lauer. And uh, Frederick over there making sure he's all right. Klaus up there to shoot a couple. So far tonight, two for two from the free throw line. Red Bank's doing, doing a great job at drawing the fouls underneath right now. Doing a little house cleaning, making sure no one's going to slip. Mike, why don't you take a towel down there and wipe it up for them? <laughs> That's all you need. Here comes Red Bank here with a towel. You, you want to be careful because it does. it is very slippery. You get that sweat down on the court. We were talking in the JV game, they had that happen, and then they threw the towel. I'm like, that was always when you were like, I don't want to touch that. <laughs> That's when you wanted to be in the game so the towel wasn't thrown yeah, at you. Yeah, it's like, mm. <laughs> You could see Coach Lewis over there telling his boys to slow it down a little bit. Yep. Work the offense. See them getting ready to bring in the majority of their starters, and that's what they're going to do here. First free throw is good. So it's a five point advantage now for Red Bank. Owen oh, Klaus shooting number two. That's no good. And that time it was teammate against teammate <laughs> for that one. And here's Brinkley on the other end. Both are okay. Here's Brinkley. Dumps that in. Taken away by Owen Klaus. Tried to get it in to Dawson or to a Derek's man. Left side, baseline, carrier shot, good. 24-17, Red Bank by seven. Brinkley driving, and the block foul will be called. And is the basket good is the question. Basket is good, how about that? What a drive by Brinkley that time. You can feel the energy in here right now. It's wild. Simcoe comes in for Merrill. Five point lead. Brinkley's free throw could cut it to four. 
Off the mark, rebound. Wagner put it back in the wrong basket. That will count for Clarion. You don't see it often. Wagner. You see Coach trying to tell him it's all right, it's all right, it happens. I know my senior year in high school at Cochran, and my one buddy got the rebound, same kind of situation, and took it up real strong, and we're like, no! So, so do they still get two points? Yes. Like, does he count for two points for himself, well, I mean? It's two points, and it's uh, two points for Clarion, but right. I have it in brackets up here as, as two for it's Wagner. Potential two. Yeah. I mean, he scored the points. It was just for Clarion. Wagner on the baseline. Back up top. Carrier, three-pointer on the way. Carrier shot, no good. Smale with the rebound. Here comes Lauer. Lauer to Brinkley. Underneath it goes to Simcoe. Back up top to Brinkley. Brinkley fires the three-pointer. It's no good. Brinkley followed that shot but couldn't get there. Klaus with it. Boy, we got folks going all over the place now. It's getting physical. It sure is. It's what you want in a game like this. Absolutely. Ball lost by Wagner. Here comes Clarion. It's a two-on-two. Brinkley. Lauer. Lauer shot from the free throw line. And it goes. One-point one lead for Red Bank Valley. They led by seven. See Clarion in that 2-3 now. Here's a steal. Lauer on the other end. Shot no good off the front of the rim. And a timeout will be taken. That was a good hustle by Minnick to get oh, down there in front of Lauer. Oh, my goodness. You know, and you see a lot of players give up. Minnick did not do that. We got a full timeout. We'll break a minute 17 to go here. One point lead for Red Bank. You're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops on EYT. I chose MPRC because it was great to have a local affordable option here in Northwestern Pennsylvania. I live in this community and I wanted to stay in this community. Learn more at discovernprc.org. Right back here at Red Bank Valley. In Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, it's been a good one in here. 24-23, Red Bank leads Clarion by one. Clarion led Red Bank by, what, seven, eight points there at one time, and now Red Bank uh, was ahead, now Clarion battling back. Clarion was in their 2-3 the last time down the court on defense, now they're in their 3-2 again. Bearing it up, going back and forth. And a 10 here in his Bauer Wagner's property second quarter. Owen Klaus to the left side. Shot taken by Minnick, the three-pointer. That's no good. Huffman fighting for the ball, and it's going to go to Clarion. Last touch by Huffman. So Clarion can retake the lead here. Clarion doesn't walk it down the court, though. They're always quick to move it. Spale finds Frederick. Back up top, it goes to Lauer. 48 seconds. Couldn't really see Clarion play for a last shot here until quite a bit of time. Red Bank, Red Bank might make that challenging for them to play in their quick, tight defense. Into the lane, Lauer stops, pops that shot, it's off the mark. Rebound is by Klaus. 28 seconds. They're holding it for a last shot. They They're going to try to anyway. Owen Klaus is going to stand right there at the big Bulldog. Clarion's defense is going to allow it this time down. No need for anything crazy here. They don't want any fouls either, of course, with a couple guys with a few apiece. Down to seven, six seconds, five seconds to the corner. Klaus, two, Klaus driving. Klaus is fouled right he there at the it. buzzer. That's just what Clarion didn't want. And Klaus will go to the line to shoot to two with nobody on the line. Oh, and Klaus. 
It's always so nerve-wracking being the foul line with nobody else around you. <laughs> Doesn't seem to bother him. That's the second. It's on the way. That was no good. So there we go, 25-23. We're at halftime as Red Bank Valley leads here in New Bethlehem. And we'll take a timeout. We're going to add some things up and get set for the Fun Bank halftime show on the way. And you're watching Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops. It's all right here on the EYT Media Network. Dubrook, a division of M&B Group, is your trusted local ready-mix supplier for residential and commercial projects. Dubrook provides a full line of decorative concrete, as well as concrete supplies, along with a variety of concrete tools and accessories. Dubrook can provide services large or small for residential and commercial projects to contractors or homeowners. Dubrook is here to provide you with options and ideas to make planning your next project simple. Let Dubrook help you with the supplies you need to get the job done. Dubrook is proud to support our local communities with plants in Clarion, Du Bois, St. Mary's, Butler, Evan City, Bradford, and Meadville. Call 1-844-382-7665. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. Brookville Equipment's always been well known in the community as a great local employer. Very family oriented company. Brookville has a really great benefits plan here. We're pretty diverse in what we do from mining to streetcars to locomotives. We're helping the infrastructure of the country. Medical insurance, dental, vision, competitive wages, paid time off. It's an opportunity. It's something that you can enjoy doing. And you can apply right through our website. One of the biggest risks to your future could be running out of money during a longer than expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our retirement income evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIP. All right, back here at Red Bank Valley. It is the Fun Bank halftime show, the first United National Bank. Getting ready for the big 50-50. Brett looking at his ticket in disgust, throws it. <laughs> he Just, looked at you in disgust. Oh, he won. Oh, okay. <laughs> he would. <laughs> He'd say, I'm out of here. I won 50 bucks. I'm out. Somebody else can produce. That's right. All He's right, so we're here with the Fun Bank Halftime Show, and uh, we'll take a look at the Red Bank Chevrolet statistics. You want to give it a shot? Sure, I'll give it a, I'll All give right. it a shot. Um, on the clarion end, you see Flower with five, Dawson's Mail with three, Brinkley over here with seven, um, Simcoe with two points, and then Derek's Mail with four. And you also have the two from Wagner that, right. wasn't, that were in the wrong basket the to bring them. <laughs> There's 23. Um, on the Red Bank side of things, we have Wagner with four points, and then we have Fricko with three, Minnick with two, Owen Klaus with nine, Mason Klaus with two, Huffman with three, and Carrier with two to bring them to their 25. Yep, very good. And five of eight from the free throw line was Red Bank there, too. And 
Wagner, of course, uh, the four points add to the six because um, he got that rebound and just put it up strong. This was one of those things that happens. It was a good rebound, too, and a good play. Yeah. <laughs> just it really was. Hoop. You know, and, and, and at first he's thinking to himself, man, great. And then he went, uh oh. Everyone's going, no. He wondered why Clarion wasn't defending him. Yeah, and it, it's tough. And like I said, when I was in high school, one of my buddies, we're all kind of gathered around. We're boxing out in the lane, and he gets the uh, defensive rebound and just took it up as strong as he could, laid it in. It was beautiful, but it wasn't for us. <laughs> I don't remember if that happened at all when I played. I'm sure somewhere, sometime it did. But I remember in soccer, mm -hmm. you know, you take the shot at the wrong goal, and you're just you stare at the goalie knowing it's your person, and yep. there it is. Yep, not much you can do. You just, uh, you know, own it up to it, and you go down, make a big play, get that two points back, and uh, this uh, has gone back and forth. If we go back to game number one uh, uh, earlier in the season at the half, Clarion led 25-24, so Red Bank leads 25-23. How close, you know, when you look at uh, those stats. We'll see how it kind of pans out here in the second half. We'll take another timeout. We're going to come back, see if uh, any changes to Alexis's keys. We'll talk about that. It's all coming up. It is at halftime, 25-23, as Red Bank leads Clarion. And you are watching Laurel Lie Clinic Hoops right here on the Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Want to cut your cooling costs this summer? With a highly efficient air conditioning system, you can save up to 50% in energy costs while enjoying more consistent temperatures throughout your home. Call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and AC at 814-226-8695 to schedule a free evaluation of your system and learn how you can move up to a new level of comfort and efficiency this summer. Best of luck to all our area basketball teams from your one-stop car, truck, and SUV dealer, Clarion Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Visit us on Main Street in Clarion or start online at clarionauto.com. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockrell Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockrellMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockrell Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion. All right, back here, Fun Bank halftime show on EYT. About a minute away from the start of the uh, second half here, the teams, boy, you can tell they're pretty anxious to get right back at it. There was still a minute to go. They were out and ready. That'll wrap up the Fun Bank halftime show. See, really no changes to your keys, right? Yeah, no changes. You know, Red Bank keep drawing the fouls underneath, quick, smart ball movement, and Clarion keep the tight defense they're playing and going strong to the hoop. And both teams just need to pay attention to their fouls right now. 
Third quarter is uh, Penn State Dubois' third quarter, or as Bob always said, Penn State Dubois. He, he's really particular about the French language. He's like the GPS. That's right. Dubois, Dubois and Belafonte. Yeah. Here we go. Clarion got the ball to start. It was dipped out of bounds. They control here. They're down by two. Drive to the hoops. Mail shot. No good. Rebound pulled down by Fricko. Boy, Red Bank has been stronger on the boards, and that has been the difference with that bit of a comeback. See if Clarion can do that because they were real strong early. Fricko, three-pointer on the way is no good. And there's Smale with the rebound. Derek Smale, he was real tough early on. We'll see if he can get back into form. Clarion controls up top here. Simcoe underneath it goes. Derek Smale clearing space, puts up the shot. No good. Tipped, tipped, tipped. And who gets it? It is Wagner. Ball left side, top it goes. Here's Minnick, Fricko. Dump stop, kicks it back out. Fricko thought about it, didn't <laughs> take it. Owen Klaus underneath the Wagner. Right side, Minnick. Underneath, Klaus tried to sneak it in. It's gonna be taken away and the foul here is gonna be rung up on Fricko. That's gonna be his fourth, I believe. And he came in and shaken up a little bit. They held him up. He's good. I wonder if Coach is going to send somebody up. Going to send Carrier in. Yeah, you got to watch when you got those three fouls. And Fricko knows that he's like, I thought I could get to that ball, but it's tough. You can't good tell anyone not to hustle. Moving your feet. Yeah, I was like, good yeah. work moving your feet, but wrong place, wrong time. Offensive fouls called on Smale. We're going to say that the illegal pick there. So Dawson's going to, or that is, uh, yep, it is Dawson. Okay, thank you. Uh, Brent's in my headset. You're right. <laughs> Look at this, Derek. I think Derek was wondering too. That's three on him. So both sides dealing with some foul trouble here. Minnick, left side, back up top. Owen Klaus, down to the corner to Wagner. Wagner driving on the baseline, jump stop, puts it up. Scoop shot, no good. Ball's tipped around, and we're going to get a foul from behind. See who gets caught with their hand in the cookie jar. It's either going to be, I think it's going to be Derek Smell or Simcoe. We'll see. They're going to say it's Derek. So you could tell by his face, he was just, he knew. No shot. Irvin coming in. Four fouls now on Dawson Smale. Here we go. To the corner. Shot. Owen Klaus. It's off the mark. Rebound by Derek Smale. He gets the break started. Derek Smale driving. Loses the ball. Out of bounds. Which way does it go? And it goes to Red Bank Bauer. Well, the big guy tried to get the break started. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. Quick. Yeah. Pretty quick up and down that court. So here we go. It's still 25 23. We have been scoreless so far in this third quarter. Both teams are playing tight defenses. Carrier. Back up top to Minnick. Back to Carrier. Owen Klaus. Comes up top. Shot taken by Minnick. The three-pointer is good by Minnick. Five in the ball game for Minnick now. Driving Brinkley. The offensive charge is called on Brinkley. Minnick's, Minnick's three is the first points of the quarter, too. Almost. That is the first score of the quarter. Coach Lewis. It's going to take a full timeout. We'll break 521 to go here in the third. 28-23 Red Bank Valley. And you're watching Laurel Light Clinic Hoops on EYT. With so much to protect each day, 
Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. And back to action we go here at Red Bank Valley after the timeout by Clarion. First three points of that quarter coming for Red Bank Valley. Oh, slips away from Klaus, and there's Merrill. Here's Merrill across the timeline. Driving, kicks it out. Gervin, three-pointer on the way by Gervin. No good. Rebound by Klaus. We well, skied for that one. He was up there. He did not want Clarion to have that rebound. Wagner in the lane. Up top it goes. Minnick, three-pointer on the way. No good. Klaus, and we're going to have a foul. The push from behind before the shot. That's going to go on Gervin that time. He's going hard on the boards, offensive and defensive. Yep, that's his third. Four forty to go here in the third. Minnick. Baseline, shot, high off the glass, gets it to go. That's a nice ball fake up top he had. Minnick now with seven. Frederick kicks it back out. Lauer, three-pointer on the way. Lauer nails the three-pointer. His second of the ball game. First points for Clary in this half. And they needed that badly. Ball to the corner, into the paint, tips around. Who gets it? That's Klaus. Klaus goes up strong. Basket good. Owen oh, Klaus now with 11. Merrill to the corner. Frederick back up top to Merrill. Merrill driving down the left side of the lane. Fade away shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Carrier. Wagner tries, baseline, jump stop, kicks it out. Carrier shot from the baseline. That's good. That was a good look by Wagner. Eight point lead now for Red Bank, their biggest of the ball game. Ball tipped, saved there by Lauer from going out of bounds. Lauer behind the back dribble, kicks it to the corner. Frederick shot on the way. Frederick three pointer, good. So Frederick coming off the bench, nailing a huge three-pointer for Clary in there. Knocks that lead back to five. Ball down to the corner. Back up top, Clary in that zone. And on the baseline, they're going to get Merrill with the foul here. They keep jumping back into the 2-3 and the 3-2. There you saw the 2-3. That's what, Whenever you have a good offensive team working the corners, it's hard not to foul or to get over to that person on the baseline in his own. Clarion with five fouls, and that's going to put Minnick up at the line here to shoot a couple. First foul shot to the half. Oh, good. Northern Pennsylvania Regional College is our free throw sponsor. Want to thank them. Dribble's going to check in here for Lauer. That shot good. Minnick one of two. Lead is six. Frederick over to uh, Burford. To the corner. Dribble underneath. Fight for the basketball. Who's going to come out with it? And it is Carrier. Three on two set up if they want it. Ball to the right side. Minnick steps back. Three-pointer on the way by Minnick. It's good by Minnick. It was all his. He knew it. Second tray of the game for Minnick, and it's 38-29. Gives him 11 points in the game, too. Ball back. Here's Frederick. Frederick already with the three. He'll take the shot from the free throw line. That's no good. Wagner will get the rebound. Wagner will work it up the court here for Red Bank. Wagner to the left side. Minnick on the baseline. 
spins around, gets that ball back up top. Wagner on the left side. Here's Carrier into Klaus. Minute 49 to go here in the third. Nine point lead for Red Bank. Klaus down to the corner. Minnick three pointer again. That one no good. Rebound is by uh, Smale. Derek Smale with the rebound. Minute and a half. Clarion. Get some guys, some breathers. Here's uh, Burford down to the corner. Underneath the ball tipped away. It was tipped by Wagner. Klaus took, or uh, that was Carrier took it. Wagner from the corner. Three pointer by Wagner. That's off the mark. No good. But that ball smacked out. Goes underneath. Klaus thought no good. We're going to get uh, Smale with the foul. I'll tell you what, Klaus is, Owen Klaus is doing real well underneath drawing those fouls. And that'll be the third on Derek Smale. Faust's first shot, no good. They've had some trouble there in that first one. Lauer back in. Miller's going to check in here for Clarion. Second shot's good. So it's 39-29, 10-point lead. Ball is Simcoe with it underneath. Simcoe shot, good shot by Simcoe from the baseline. Eight-point lead for Red Bank, 53 seconds. You see Clarion out in their high 3-2. See Coach Marshall wanting the one shot. We'll see if they are able to play for it. House in the corner. Cross court to Wagner. Wagner back up top to Carrier, 34 seconds. Red Bank really, know how, really knows how to work the ball. Here's Wagner in the left corner. Ben back up top again. 20 seconds. Drive on the baseline into the paint, and the shot is good. Bounce to Klaus. Back to 10 points. Here comes Clarion, still nine. Brinkley kicks it over to Miller. Let's see what Clarion can do. Brinkley back to Lauer. Lauer shot from the free throw line off the front of the rim. No good. And we go to quarter number four with Red Bank Valley leading by a score of 41 to 31. And we'll take a timeout at Floral Eye Clinic Hoops right here on EYT Media Network. What college is seen as and how college works is changing. Students are concerned with debt. Through scholarships and grants, I didn't pay anything last year. They even paid for my books. You, you, can't, you can't beat it. Like, why, why would I say no to that? Back at Red Bank Valley, we go to quarter number four. It's the Dubrook fourth quarter here on EYT. Mike Kalinowski, Lexus, 20 year, Red English, Chase Steinman. All here tonight. Saw a pretty quick third quarter there. You know, Red Bank outscored Clarion 16 to 8. They have that 10 point lead. Ball to the corner. Into the lane, puts up the shot. That shot's off the mark by Minnick. And we see uh, Derek, or Dawson Smale back in there for Clarion playing with the four fouls. They're going to go with them. Dawson Smale up top, underneath into the uh, Miller. Miller spins around. He's going to be fouled. They're going to get Mason Fox this time. And Miller will go to the line to shoot two. Shots off the mark. Seen that a lot tonight. That first shot not going. You are. And for both teams, it's very rare. Shots up and good. That second one there for Miller. Yeah. 
Minnick up top. Works it over to Owen Klaus. Klaus driving, kicks it out to uh, Minnick. Underneath Klaus, Klaus 101, puts up that shot, no good, got his own rebound, fouled from behind by Miller. Ball's going to go out of bounds this time. See Coach Marshall starting the fourth quarter with Fricko on the bench still, saving him until it's really detrimental in the end. Oh, how about Wagner's shot? No good, but Lauer's going to get uh, the foul here. And you talked about it, Lexus. Red Bank really going strong in that bottom block, picking up that foul tonight. Again, missing that first one. Must be a thing. It's in the air down here. It could be. I blame Bob Dunkel. <laughs> it's the house that he built. Wagner nails that second one. Here's Lauer up top to da uh, Dawson Smale. Brinkley. Well, Brinkley wanted that three, didn't take it, driving into the lane. Out to Miller. Miller up top. Smale fakes drives. He's going to be tripped up. He's going to get to the line for a couple. Good drive that time by Dawson Smale. So you're playing with four fouls, too. He's not shy. No, and you know, you either see people that don't care and play like they don't have any fouls and keep going or, you know, shy away and are worried. Hmm. There's your first shot, that curse, curse again. continues, yeah. Looks like no good, and the offensive foul is going to be called on Derek Smale with that push underneath. And that is number, is that five on him? That is five, so Derek Smale's out. He was quick into foul trouble against Red Bank their last game, too, and came out pretty early in the fourth. So there is a timeout on the court here. Coach Lewis doesn't look too thrilled at the moment. So 30-second timeout. Want to let you know two timeouts brought to you by Gatesman Heating, Plumbing, and Air Conditioning. Give them a call at 814-72-3280. That's 72-3280. The weather was the last couple, about a week, though. Air conditioning, you might want to check it out. But next week, it's supposed to get cold and snow again. So I'll still have the windows open either yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Jake was telling me his gas bill so high now. Just a little bit. I just look at him and tell him, I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't me. It must be the dogs. So 43-32, 10 point lead for Red Bank. Each team with about, what, a minute four gone, have each scored one point. So they're at least even. Taking it out of bounds is Owen Klaus. Ball's tip coming in, there's Simcoe. Lauer, so it's stolen back away. Lauer, Brinkley, up top. Frederick, three-pointer is short of the mark, no good. The rebound is by Carrier. Carrier was surrounded by some bulldog or some uh, bobcats there. Held on tight. Oh, slips as he gets rid of that ball. He's shaken up. They're not going to blow the whistle until, and now they could blow the whistle. They had to wait. Unless they thought it was something where per the player was extremely hurt, they would blow that whistle immediately. He hops up. He's ready to go again. Yep. You can see the mark that was left. It looked like he was burning some tire down there. I mean, he is pretty quick. He has some wheels on him. Yep. A lot of these guys are pretty oh, quick, yeah. both sides, I'll tell you. Absolutely. Ya. I saw in the news what Clarion Limestone and Clarion were talking again about maybe bringing the uh, track and field together. Boy, I'll tell you why. You look at those two teams, how fast they are. You have to wonder why they haven't yet with Clarion I, Limestone I know. being so small, yeah. I heard about that little mishap. Oh, you're bringing up the, Brett's talking in her headset. We'll bring that up here in a minute. It was dumb earlier in the week. Here's Smale <laughs> with the basketball. Spins around, Smale driving right to the hoop. Shot goes, good job by Smale, Dawson Smale. Full court pressure put on now by Clarion. Red Bank uh, gets through that. Ball to the corner, Wagner. It's a back off to Minnick. 
Benning driving, puts up the shot high over top of the defender. Puts him at 13 for the game. So go back out here to Brinkley. Frederick. Flower. Flower to Smale. Shot from Smale. Three pointer, no good. Rebound by Klaus. Five and a half to go here. Klaus has this pocket pick, but they're going to get Brinkley from behind. Must have just got too much body that time. It was on that far side. Miller's going to check in here for Frederick. Yeah, we were at uh, Union on earlier this week and couldn't find my car keys. I heard about that. Somebody from Union actually texted me, making fun yes. of you. But I checked in my bag four or five times. That's where they were, oh, underneath. I'm glad you finally found them. We did. And made it home. Here's a minute driving. Bounce pass underneath. Mason Klaus shot no good, but the foul's going to be rung up. Looks like Brinkley might get charged again here. We'll see for his third. That's it looks like who it is. You see Red Bank yet again drawing the two underneath. That's five fouls against Clarion. Two on the side of Red Bank. Up at the line is Mason Klaus. And we continue with the tradition. It's the curse. Klaus for his second. <clears throat> And he gets that one. He had the nice spin coming off. You could just tell it was going in. Here comes Clarion now. They're down by 11. Red Bank enjoying their biggest lead of the ball game. Miller over to Brinkley. Into Simcoe. Simcoe turns around. Shot by Simcoe. No good. Rebound by Mason Klaus. Kicks it to Wagner. Wagner up top it goes. Owen so Klaus will hold it. Looks uh, like Clarion's in a man defense. Yep. Klaus driving. And if that is on Dawson Smale, that might be it for him. And Red Bank will be going to the line now. Nope, that's... They had it on number five. Shot no good by Klaus. Dribble checks in here. Klaus is up at the line for that second. Shots no good. Put back though by Wagner is. Battle for that rebound after the shot was missed. Long shot taken by Lauer. Rattles the cage, but doesn't go. Rebound is by Carrier. And uh, they're going to get Miller here with the foul. And up to the other end will go Carrier to shoot. Getting a little chippy now. You see the officials tighten a little bit. Carrier held on pretty tight. He was not letting go Ooh. of that ball. <laughs> it's strange. Yeah, we are. And it's both both sides. Mm -hmm. And he nails that second one. So timeout will be taken by Red Bank Valley, just the 32nd timeout. Want to let you know, too, coming up next week, a lot coming your way here on EYT. We'll have the Red Bank and Kerwinsville girls wrestling match, the first ever in D9. It'll be the first ever dual meet. We're going to have that for you coming up next Tuesday. On Wednesday, it's the special edition of the Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street Sports Show. It's on Valentine's Day because on Thursday, we start the Keystone Shortway Conference Championships. You'll be with me for the girls' game. It's games. a busy week. Yeah. Friday, got Dustin. I don't know. I might have to trade Dustin out. We'll see. And then Saturday, of course, we have the championship game. So a lot. You'll be seeing my face a lot, too. Oh, dear Lord. How exciting. We have Eddie Baumkratz and Roger Walter yep. on Valentine's Day. Yep. Nice romantic duo. It certainly is, and they'll be at uh, the Haskell House for that.
you know, folks, you're allowed to to look in the window and wave and all that stuff because that's where they'll be, right in that big window on Main Street. If you're lucky, Mike will wave back. Yeah, you never know. Ball's going to be go out of bounds. It goes to Red Bank, untouched. Clarion was looking for that cut underneath and just went the other way. Ball comes in here to Perko's back Perko. in. Yep, he's got four fouls. Ball underneath, bounce pass over, Wagner, and he'll be fouled. They're going to get Merrill with the foul here, and Wagner's going to go to the line to shoot. You could tell Wagner held until he was in the air and went up for that shot to draw the fouls. Of course, after the game, and I'm not picking here either. His, his teammates will be razzing him quite a bit from that the shot earlier in the ball game. But that free throw, he nails the first one. He's making up for it. He's been sure playing is. an all-around well game. Shot no good. Comes out into the hands. No, it's run down by uh, Owen Klaus. Wagner up top here to uh, Minnick. Minnick back to Owen Klaus. 3.54 to go here in the ball game. Dubrook fourth quarter. We're going to get Brinkley here with the foul. And Klaus will go to the line. Brinkley picks up his fourth. Redman shooting a ton of free throws. First shot's up and good. It's the way it looked last time against Clarion. You know, Clarion was at, I think, three or four yep. free throws, and I think Red Bank shot 17 or 19 yep. or something like that. There's that second one. A lot of Klaus's points in that free throw line tonight. Seven of them. That's where it counts, too, especially in close games. Back away. Dribble in the corner. And take it away. Wagner, Merrill fighting for it, out of bounds, and it's going to stay Red Bank ball. 3.34. Boy, we're glad you could join us tonight. It's been a fun one. Red Bank starting to pull away here, but it was close. I was going to say you have a 17-point lead. Are you going to try to work it around or play the game that you know? Ball kicked out, Wagner. Now Minnick. Minnick back out to Klaus and now uh, Fricko. Wagner driving, Wagner, dump, bounce pass, nice pass. He found uh, Mason Klaus. Cutting in, 53-34, it's a 19-point lead. It's a nice look underneath, too. Here's Gervin, three-pointer on the way. Gervin shots off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Wagner. 2.45 to go here. Frico to Wagner in the corner. Wagner brings it back up top to Klaus. Minnick into the lane. Minnick puts up the runner. It's off the front of the rim. No good. The charge is going to be called here on Minnick. One thing this crew has not been shy about, they have rang up that charge a few times on each side. And, you know, the kids on both sides on defense just stand there, and they're ready for it. Yep. They don't shy away. Burford checks in here for Clarion. We've got Burford, Miller... McElwain, Cribble, and Frederick now for Clarion. McElwain left side. Here's Burford. Cribble controls. Underneath to Frederick. Frederick, Miller, back to Frederick. Burford shot from the free throw line. That's no good. Burford followed well. Doesn't go, though, and rebound by Wagner. Miller's going to get a little bit too much with the push there. Red Bank's doing a great job on defense, taking the lane away, too, from Clarion. Clarion responds well, too, by the ball movement yep. and passes. Wagner's at the free throw line, shooting a couple here. 
First shot is up and good this time. I think we got past that first free throw now going. Second one doesn't go, and there's McElwain with the rebound. Just under two minutes. See Wagner now with nine in the game. Long shot taken by Frederick on the right side. That's no good. Rebound by Wagner. Nope, it's taken. Nope, Klaus has it. And out to Carrier. Now we'll see if we get some subs coming in here for Red Bank. They still have many of the starters out there. They lead by 20 with a minute 40. Coming the other way. Here's Burford. Backside. Frederick. Shot. Good by Frederick. Getting ready for Huffman to come in. And we have a timeout. Time I believe it's a full timeout. Win at 26 to go. We'll break. And we'll be back with more for you. It's Oral Eye Clinic Hoops right here on EYT. What college is seen as and how college works is changing. Students are concerned with debt. Through scholarships and grants, I didn't pay anything last year. They even paid for my books. You, you, can't, you can't beat it. Like, why, why would I say no to that? All right, back is Red Bank Valley. Mike Kalinowski, Lexus 20, you're with you. We have uh, Brett English over there on the computer and Chase Steinman behind the camera. We have Huffman in the game now for Red Bank. 18-point lead here for the Bulldogs, and stretch it out. See Coach Marshall wanting to work on something. That ball was tipped, so Red Bank will be able to bring it back across. Of course, the championships, the boys, semifinals will be next Friday. And we have a foul. We're going to get uh, McElwain with that one. Carrier going to the line for two. Carrier so far one of two from the free throw line. 54 seconds. Girls uh, semifinals are Thursday. And then Saturday, of course, are the championships. First shot good. So we have Red Bank, Clarion, Carn City, and Clarion Limestone. For the standings are tonight. Red Bank has shot 20 total foul shots in the second half so far. And the shot doesn't go that time by McElwain. Boy, he used all of the rim, though. Just would, couldn't fall. 40 seconds to go. You know, if you're Red Bank right now, you have to feel great with this lead as, as big as it is. They won the first meeting 56-49. This one, they're up by 20. Big difference was all of those free throws. Almost a steal for Miller there underneath. 19 seconds. Ball back up top to Mason Clouds. Hands it to Fricko. Carrier, 10 seconds. Clouds has it, 7, 6, 5. So 56-36 as Red Bank Valley will win it. Wow, what a ball game tonight. We'll take a time out. We're going to come back, wrap things up in the Clarion County Community Bank postgame show. Red Bank winner over Clarion to finish the regular season uh, in that uh, conference undefeated. And uh, we will uh, take a time out here. Back with more. You're watching Laurel Light Clinic Hoops right here on the EYT Media Network. You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. Throughout West Central Pennsylvania, people are losing their glasses. Well, they haven't really lost them. They just don't need them anymore. Thanks to the amazing LASIK surgeons at Laurel Eye Clinic. Call Laurel Eye Clinic and schedule your free consultation. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in.
Looking for a new Bobcat tractor? Northeastern Equipment Sales and Rentals has inventory on the lot, ready to be loaded up so you can get to work on tough jobs. Check out Bobcat of Clarion at 1214 East Main Street in Clarion. Are you ready to boost your team spirit? Look no further than shopteamwear.com, your one-stop destination for all your school and team apparel needs. We've got you covered whether you're a diehard fan searching for the latest gear or aiming to fundraise for your team. And here's the best part, you're in control. Choose the products and prices that work for you. Discover the ultimate apparel shopping and fundraising experience at shopteamwear.com. It's time to gear up, fundraise with ease, and make a statement together. Boost your team spirit, empower your community, shopteamwear.com, where passion meets fashion. Welcome to 12 Series, a veteran-owned and operated company. Want to stand out amongst the crowd? This is the brand for you. They have apparel that ranges from cardio tanks and hoodies to sweat noggin covers. The apparel isn't just designed for the gym, it's designed for everyday life. Whether at work, the range, or at a family outing, 12 Series will turn heads. Find and like 12 Series on Facebook and Instagram. Back at Red Bank Valley. Bulldogs, the winner tonight here in the Clarion County Community Bank Post Game Show, 56 36 over Clarion as they are the number one seed coming up. We'll have all the matchups for you on the way. We're in the, as I said, the uh, Clarion County Community Bank Post Game Show and looking at the stats brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. Start with Clarion first uh, for the Bobcats. Scoring wise, Alexis will have the free throws all totaled up for us. Uh, Lauer with eight points to lead them. Five for uh, Dawson Smale, five for Brinkley. Four for Simcoe, four for Smale, a point for Miller. And I had five points for Nathan Frederick coming off the bench, nailed that three-pointer and had a field goal as well. From the free throw line, how was Clarion? Um, they didn't shoot many, as many as Red Bank did. You know, they were three of seven from the free throw line, shooting only at 43%. All right, so let's look at Red Bank Valley scoring-wise. They were led by Owen Klaus with 14, Minnick with 13, Wagner with uh, 11. Two of those, though, going on the Clarion side. Seven for uh, Mason Klaus, seven for Carrier, three for uh, Huffman, and uh, free throws for the Bulldogs. They shot 20 free throws in the second half, 28 total in the entire game, and they were 16 of 28, only 57%. Um, the last time they saw Clarion, they were shooting – I think 19 free throws and they were at 76% though. So they were definitely off tonight on their on their free throws, but they really outscored Clarion 31 to 13 in the second half. Yeah, and those free throws too. Uh, we, we noticed early on they were missing that front end every almost every single time. <laughs> so that shows you uh, just uh, how important they are. So there you go. Those are our stats again brought to you by uh, Red Bank Chevrolet. We got to announce our player of the game. We really didn't talk about it. So I don't know, Alexis, what do you think? Our Hager, Hager Paving player of the ball game. We're going to go with the leading scorer, Klaus, or did you like someone else that maybe had a big game for Red Bank Valley? I mean, I definitely think Klaus put in the work on offense and defense. He took a lot of a lot of hits physically, you know, up and down the court and played all around a great game, sure as, did. as did the rest of the team, honestly. It was a, it was a five, six, seven-person game. Sure was, but and I'll, yeah, Klaus, I think, did stand out. Yeah. So we'll give Klaus our Hager paving player of the ball game for this one. Uh, so uh, Owen Klaus uh, gets another accolade there. and. Boy, good game back and forth. And coming up uh, next Friday will be the boys. You have uh, who's going to play who? Yep, they just announced after the game that CL will take on Red Bank and Carn City will take on Clarion on the okay. boys' side of things. So that will be uh, coming up on Friday night. Uh, so we'll have that for you. Thursday you'll be with me for the girls' contest. Right now I believe it's what, Red Bank? Um, Red Bank, Clarion, Carn City, City. And uh, who's North the Clarion. other one? North Clarion is the other one. That's right. So. Uh, Red we'll Bank those. sitting at the top seat yep. for that, too. They've been something. Red Bank's a great basketball school. <laughs> they, they sure <laughs> have been. So uh, we'll have that for you on Thursday night, uh, so don't forget about that. And on Tuesday, we have wrestling here at Red Bank Valley. Girls dual meet with uh, Clearfield. That'll be the first ever in District 9. We'll have that for you. Ken Staub will join me for that. On Wednesday, it's the uh, Red Bank Chevrolet Main Street uh, Sports Talk Show coming from the Haskell House and then the KSAC Championships. We've got a full week next week. I do. Prepare Are the you snacks ready? ahead of time. Get some rest. I 
<laughs> I'm just excited for <laughs> Dippin' Dots at Clarion <laughs> University. <laughs> you, Chase, Spread, and I'm like, uh, what? All of us young kids. That's true. We we stand out from the old folk. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> but we stand out, too, with our gray hair and our limping and all that stuff. So. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it here tonight for Red Bank Valley. Again, want to thank the entire broadcast crew. Uh, we had Chase on the camera, Chase Steinman, Brett English. Fantastic job engineering as always. Lexus 20 here, my sidekick tonight. Mike Kalinowski bidding you a pleasant night here from the great Red Bank Valley. Again, 56-36 Red Bank Valley knocks off Clarion. That'll wrap up uh, the Clarion County Community Bank Postco Post Game Show and Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops tonight. And uh, it is uh, Laurel Eye Clinic Hoops right here live on the EYT Media Network. Hey, folks, we'll see you all next week. Get set for some great basketball. Have a great game.